Hi! Hi everybody! Robert Jones back in the Tasty Kitchen with you today. Feeling pretty good cause it's a Monday. And I'm up and I'm making it happen and how are you guys today? I'm pretty good. You guys, I'm excited. I got something in the mail. Look at this. Put up! I got a box. I'm excited. I got a whole box of stuff. So, there's a company called The Spice Lab. If you guys remember from last year, put a link here. Boop! We did a little bit of a taste test for these guys. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send me the stuff so I could try it out and tell you about it. So, just want to be clear. I'm excited today, you guys. We got a whole box of goodies to look through, and then we're going to do some cooking after that, and then we're going to do some tasting. So this is going to be like a two-part video. So stay tuned. This is going to be part one is today. It's going to be the taste test. We're going to tell you about the product, and we're going to tell you about what it tastes like. And then the next video is going to be the in-between part where we're going to make some delicious pork wraps. So Greek-style wraps, Americana with a whole bunch of good stuff using the uh, spices. So, all right, let's go down to the counter and we'll take a look at what's in the box. Boo! Here we are down on the counter. I have the box. Um, yeah, so I wanna say thanks to Angie, in case I forget, Angie is the one that sent this out um, from Spice Lab. Um, that's just my address removed. So yeah, it came in this nice priority box and uh, I had to open it up because I didn't even know what it was. I had to prepare for the video. So in the box, there are um, three different uh, sections of stuff. So first of all, we have the Nashville hot chicken. So that's exciting. Uh, you know, chicken is all about uh, the thing right now, everybody with their chicken sandwiches. So I'm excited about that. And then also there is a bunch of information about each of the cards here. So inside here, there's a little folder, which is kind of cool. And then it tells about it, um, all of the different products that they have. So lots of good stuff here. Um, and this is one of the things that's in here. So let's take a look at this. So uh, I was opening this and I was looking through and it didn't survive. The, the package didn't survive the shipping so well that the plastic got bunked around. But this is salt shooters. So two 100% Himalayan uh, salt tequila shooters. So they're like uh, shot glasses and they have inserts in there so that the, the tequila doesn't eat through the salt too quickly. So that's kind of exciting. So there is a style sheet. Um, I don't know cut sheet, style sheet, whatever you want to call it, We're talking about those. And also uh, a set of two, the retail is anywhere from 15 to $30 suggested. So I guess it's depending on where your market you live is. So that's those. And then finally, this is very exciting to me. And this is the one we're going to work on today. So inside here, there was this box and inside this box was a flea and it sat on the ring. And the... Oh, never mind. Uh, it has the Taste of America collection. I can get it out here. There we go. The Taste of America collection. So it has Southwestern Charm. It also has everything and more. It has the Key West seasoning and it also has the Chicago Chop. So um, this one I was reading is supposed to be for fish. So we may not use that one today, but I was thinking we might use the uh, natural hot chicken, even though we're doing pork. So there is uh, the Southern Charm. And all that so that's kind of exciting and let's see I believe the retail on this one is $29.95 so that's not bad um, that's like seven and a half bucks each um, each spice so that's kind of exciting and it comes in this cool box uh, how does it open I guess it just opens like that boom just like that so there you go now you can totally totally see it okay uh, let's see the southern charm this one, it says, store in a cool, dry plate. Cool, dry place. Okay, so this has Hudson Valley salt, smoked paprika, dry garlic, black pepper, dried onion, cayenne pepper, spices, and cumin. Now, anything with cumin is all right with me. Cumin is my favorite spice in the entire world. Let's see, the everything and more. So kind of like, like bagel. I'm guessing that's like the everything bagel. It says, uh, savory to sprinkle on everything, just perks it up. Handcrafted shake. This has salt, sesame seeds, dried onions, garlic, poppy seeds, and chili flakes. So that is pretty good. I thought this was going to be a, a cooking one, but that's fine. We'll, we'll use that on something else. And then we have the Key West seasoning that says for seafood. And this one has uh, Hudson Valley salt, sugar, 
Acetic acid, dried garlic, coriander, chives, not more than 2%, lemon oil. Oh, oh, I missed this line. Dried onions, ginger, spices, turmeric, and green chilies. Green chives. There we go. All right, and finally, the Chicago Chop. Chicago Chop is Hudson Valley Salt. Surprise! Black pepper, dried garlic and onion, white pepper, ginger, brown sugar, hickory smoke, uh, a thicker of molotodextrin, smoke flavor, and corn starch. So that looks pretty good. This one's stamped a barbecue. All around, all around, seafood and barbecue. So there we go. Okay, there's what's in the box. Let's make some food. Boop! Now you know what's in the box. So you heard me describe these and the ingredients on them, but let me tell you what the cut sheet says because I think they say it a lot better because actually somebody gets paid to do this and they do it better. So it says, <clears throat> the fiery southern charm. Oh, see? So even already, I just discovered that I wasn't even saying this right. So let me get them out of the box so you can actually see what we're talking about here. And here's why I didn't see it. So the smaller word here is fiery. It says fiery southern charm. So it says here, according to the sheets, it says fiery southern charm is smoky and spicy, adding a little sass to each dish. And you know what I need? More sass. So that's this one. We also have, going in order here, the everything and more. It says all the popular bagel toppings plus hot pepper flakes. So that's, whoa. So that's exciting. Um, so we got the everything and more. Now, I had one of these from another company last year, and oh, I ate, 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 it was so good. So I'm excited to try this one. Okay, the third one we have here, according to my sheet, gotta get your sheet together, is Key West Seafood. So that's this one here. It says a flavorful blend of onion, garlic, thyme, and other spices. Now, traditionally, this is used for seafood, but since we're doing a whole pork malage today, I'm gonna try it on pork. How bad can it be? It's pork with spices. So that's that one. And then lastly, we have the Chicago Chop Barbecue. That one's this one here. And it says, super savory and smoky, perfect for pork chops, pork chops, pork chops, applesauce, um, ribs and roasts. So perfect for pork chops, ribs and roasts. So that's what we're doing today. And this was the inspiration. So, um, yeah, I'm excited you guys. So check it out. So here's the whole collection. Here's how it comes. Um, a really nice package, you guys. I'm excited by this. Um, it also has uh, Chef Fiona's ingredient list. Lit. Chef Fiona's. L <laughs> Let's try this for the third time. Chef Fiona's ingredient list. Sometimes I just forget to like read the damn box. So uh, it has all of the ingredients here on the back. This comes from Pompano Beach, Florida, if you guys didn't know. Uh, it looks like it has an Amazon code as well as a standard code, so you guys can find that in both places. Small batch handcrafted, <clears throat> small batch handcrafted, small batch handcrafted is what it says here. Taste of America. Now, if you're not in America, I'm sure you can still get a hold of this. And Taste America, all in one box. So that's kind of exciting. All right, you guys. Let's get to making some food, and then we'll come back and we'll do a little taste test action. juicy and moist and cooked through. Oh, I'm very excited. So I'm going to take a little piece off of each one to do our taste test. And then for the next video, I'll, I'll going to slice these up and we uh, will make some sandwiches. And now it is the moment you've been waiting for. Woo! I don't know about you, but I am excited to try all these pork giblets. Well, okay, they're not giblets, they're just pieces of pork, but I am excited because I get to try four different things at the same time. So let's check it out. Okay, going for number one, this is our Southern Charm. This is this one here, the Southern Charm. It is the, uh, sorry, the Fire is Southern Charm. So I'm kind of excited. It looks nice and red and delicious. Mmm. 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 
It's nice and juicy, and I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm sorry. Mmm. Okay. Lesson learned. Smaller bites. Okay, that's really good. It's got a nice smokiness to it. It's got a nice earthiness to it. I like the way it cooks into the pork. Um, it's got a nice herbiness to it as well. And it says fiery. And it has a little heat. I'd say it's a 3-4. It's a maybe a little bit more if you're a super white guy like me. But I like fiery stuff. But it is good. It has a nice little kick to it. And that's, that's quite delicious. I can totally see that on my wrap being really good. Okay, let's go for number two. Now remember, this is the seafood seasoning. Um, it's not necessarily built for the pork, but I wanted to try it anyway because I was doing this, and so why not do all four at the same time? So this is the Key West seasoning. And let's try a, let's try a smaller piece this time. Oh, that's two pieces. Mmm. You know what? That totally works. Mmm, I really like that a lot. The lemon oil comes through. Okay, we're going to try a little bit smaller piece this time. Mmm. Excuse me, my wipe my eye because it's so good. You guys, that's really nice. I can taste the lemon oil. I can taste the herbs and spices. You know, it says fish, but I can totally see this on other things too. I really like the taste of it. It's got, a, it's got the garlic, of course. I was just saying what else is in here. The lemon oil comes through the turmeric. That's what it is. It's got a nice earthy background on it. So that is the Key West seasoning, and it's got um, a little bit of turmeric in it. It's a little bit yellow. But that's quite delicious. Okay, going for number three. Now, this is the everything and more. And if we remember, this has the garlic, poppy seeds, salt, and chili flakes. So I'm really looking forward to trying that like on a bagel. But let's try a little piece so I don't choke this time. Mmm, it's got the sesame seeds. You can definitely taste those. Almost has an, an Asian feel to it with those um, the sesame seeds now. That's good. I can't wait to put that on some cream cheese on some toast or bagel. Very nice. Okay, and finally, the fourth one is the Chicago Chop Barbecue. And this one, uh, let's refresh, it has a lot of black pepper, garlic, onions, white pepper, ginger, brown sugar, hickory smoke, and smoke flavoring with a little bit of cornstarch. So this one looks quite delicious as well. Okay, I'm cutting. I keep cutting these pieces down because... Chewing meat by itself is a little, it's a little dry. Okay. Oh, you know, that is the one that, mm, mm, mm. that is the one I keep looking at. I think that's the one I want to put in my wrap. Mm. Okay, that's my favorite. The Chicago Chop. It's got a nice saltiness to it. It's not too salty, but it has a nice saltiness to it. I really like how the flavors work with the pork. I'll be looking forward to trying these things with other meats as well. So there you go. Okay, you guys. So this is the American collection, the Taste of America. Just to remind you what we're doing here is the Taste of America. Um, these are from the Spice Lab. I want to say thank you to the Spice Lab for trusting me with their, their goodies and to show the world what they got going on. Um, I think this is a really nice collection. If you're just starting out or if you're just starting out for the summertime, this would be a really good collection to start your summer off, right? Oh, order for the springtime. Oh. Um, and at a price point at $29.95 or maybe a different price where you are, I don't know. I'm just looking at their website. I think this is a pretty good bargain. Um, each one of these is about seven bucks ish, a little over seven bucks. And yeah, I can see the seasoning a lot of meat uh, or a lot of, you know what would be really good? Baked potato. I'm just saying baked potato or fish or whatever. But there you go. All right, you guys. I'm Robert Jones. Uh, this was Spice Lab, and I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see these different spice blends. I hope you give them a try. And if you do, uh, let me know. And if you do, let them know. Let them know you saw the video and that you enjoyed uh, learning about how to use them here. All right, you guys. I'm Robert Jones. This is Eudemonius Mark II, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.